In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a program in C Sharp, how to create it and how to run it. First thing, we can either select new project from this link if it's available, or you can go to the file, new and project. I'm going to use the link. You want to select Visual C Sharp. If it's not selected, you can click on other languages and find C Sharp. So I'm going to make a Windows Form application. Right now it's up to Windows Form Application 7, so I'll just leave it as it is and click OK. What it's going to do is it's going to generate code and it's going to display this form. I want to add a button to my form, so I need to see the toolbox. If it's not visible on the left side, you click View, and Toolbars, and let me see. OK, right here, Toolbox. In my case, it's, it's visible, so I'll click right here and I want to find a button. So I'm going to click on button and press enter and it puts the button on the form. Now what I want to do is that when I click on this button it's going to display a message. So I'm going to double click on the button and it's going to open the code window I'm going to make this a little bit larger. And all I want to do is display a message in a message box. So I'm going to type in message box dot show. And you can just, if you're using the IntelliSense, you can just select what you want and press tab. And I'm going to show a message. I love. C sharp exclamation point. And all statements in C sharp end with a semicolon. So now I am ready to run my program. I'm going to switch to the form view. So this is the form that's going to appear when you run the program. So there's a couple of ways you can test your program. You could go debug, start without debugging, or start debugging. Or you can click on this Start button that has the green arrow. So I'm going to click the Start button. And when I click the button, it displays a message that says, I love C Sharp. And that's how easy it is to create a program in C Sharp.